ಐ ಎಮ್ ಟಿ ಇ ಎಕ್ಸ್ ಫಾರ್ಮಿಂಗ್ ಎರಡು ಸಾವಿರದ ಇಪ್ಪತ್ನಾಲ್ಕು ಮೆಟಲ್ ಫಾರ್ಮಿಂಗ್ ಮತ್ತು ಮ್ಯಾನುಫ್ಯಾಕ್ಚರಿಂಗ್ ಟೆಕ್ನಾಲಜೀಸ್ನಲ್ಲಿ ಏಷ್ಯಾದ ಅತಿ ದೊಡ್ಡ ಪ್ರದರ್ಶನವು ತಯಾರಿಕಾ ಸಮುದಾಯದಿಂದ ಉತ್ಸಾಹದ ಪ್ರತಿಕ್ರಿಯೆಯನ್ನು ಪಡೆಯುತ್ತದೆ ಇಂಡಿಯನ್ ಮೆಷಿನ್ ಟೂಲ್ ಮ್ಯಾನುಫ್ಯಾಕ್ಚರ್ಸ್ ಅಸೋಸಿಯೇಷನ್ ಆಯೋಜಿಸಿದ ಏಕಕಾಲೀನ ಟೂಲ್ ಟೆಕ್ ಡಿಜಿಟಲ್ ಮ್ಯಾನುಫ್ಯಾಕ್ಚರಿಂಗ್ ಮತ್ತು ವರ್ಲ್ಡ್ ಎಕ್ಸ್ಪೋ ಜೊತೆಗೆ ಐ ಎಮ್ ಟಿ ಇ ಎಕ್ಸ್ ಫಾರ್ಮಿಂಗ್ ಎರಡು ಸಾವಿರದ ಇಪ್ಪತ್ನಾಲ್ಕು ಅನ್ನು ಎರಡು ಸಾವಿರದ ಇಪ್ಪತ್ನಾಲ್ಕರ ಜನ್ವರಿ ಹತ್ತೊಂಬತ್ತರಂದು ಬೆಂಗಳೂರು ಇಂಟರ್ನ್ಯಾಷನಲ್ ಎಕ್ಸಿಬಿಷನ್ ಸೆಂಟರ್ನಲ್ಲಿ ಬೆಂಗಳೂರು ಅಂತಾರಾಷ್ಟ್ರೀಯ ಪ್ರದರ್ಶನ ಕೇಂದ್ರದಲ್ಲಿ ಉದ್ಘಾಟಿಸಲಾಯಿತು ವಸ್ತು ಪ್ರದರ್ಶನವನ್ನು ಸಿ ಕೆ ವೆಂಕಟರಾಮನ್ ವ್ಯವಸ್ಥಾಪಕ ನಿರ್ದೇಶಕರು ಟೈಟಾನ್ ಕಂಪನಿ ಲಿಮಿಟೆಡ್ ಮತ್ತು ಗೀತಾಂಜಲಿ ಕಿರ್ಲೋಸ್ಕರ್ ಕಿರ್ಲೋಸ್ಕರ್ ಸಿಸ್ಟಮ್ಸ್ ಲಿಮಿಟೆಡ್ನ ಅಧ್ಯಕ್ಷರು ಮತ್ತು ವ್ಯವಸ್ಥಾಪಕ ನಿರ್ದೇಶಕರು ಐ ಎಂ ಟಿ ಎಂ ಎ ಅಧ್ಯಕ್ಷ ಎಕ್ಸಿಬಿಷನ್ಸ್ ಜಮ್ಷೀದ್ ಎನ್ ಗೋದ್ರೇಜ್ ಐ ಎಂ ಟಿ ಎಂ ಎ ಅಧ್ಯಕ್ಷ ರಾಜೇಂದ್ರ ಎಸ್ ರಾಜಮಾನೆ ಐ ಎಂ ಟಿ ಎಂ ಎ ಉಪಾಧ್ಯಕ್ಷೆ ಮೋಹಿನಿ ಕೇಲ್ಕರ್ ಮತ್ತು ಐ ಎಂ ಟಿ ಎಂ ಎ ಮತ್ತು ಬಿ ಐ ಇ ಸಿಯ ಮಹಾನಿರ್ದೇಶಕ ಮತ್ತು ಸಿಇಒ ಜಿಬಕ್ ದಾಸ್ ಗುಪ್ತಾ ಉದ್ಘಾಟನಾ ಸಮಾರಂಭದಲ್ಲಿ ವೇದಿಕೆ ಹಂಚಿಕೊಂಡರು So uh, it gives me pleasure to announce the inaugural uh, uh, Cooper Award. Uh, I think you will see in a moment a video about uh, Mr. Cooper. Uh, Sir D.P. Cooper was one of the founders of uh, IMTMA and uh, the award goes to UCAM Private Limited. So, we have the representative of the Cooper Award, Mr. Deshpande, joining us on stage. ಪ್ರೊಮಿಸ್ ದೆನ್ ಯೆಸ್ ವಿ ವಿಲ್ ಡೂ ಇಟ್ ಫ್ರೆಂಡ್ಸ್ ಪ್ಲೀಸ್
the nation building aspect of the 5 trillion because it would be really tragic if the 5 trillion happens and the median income continues to remain where it is or it does not grow as much as the average income is going to grow. For that, jobs need to be created. There are so many people who, by becoming machinists and fitters, can actually be employed by the manufacturing sector as well as the machine tool sector. And it will have a flywheel effect in terms of, you know, taking up the trajectory of the manufacturing sector's contribution to the total GDP. And through that, the 17% becoming 21% by 2026. And they are related. If India continues to remain a heavy subsidy from college, I mean, it is really tragic. I mean, they are solid engineers, right? They need to be joining companies like yours, companies like ours. So therefore, how does the industry attract the best. Uh, as you all aware that we have inaugurated our MTEX forming 8th edition. Uh, this is uh, the biggest MTEX forming that we are having. So this shows that the manufacturing industry and the forming sector is actually growing. Uh, to talk about it and to give some uh, you know, data points, we have uh, Mr. Godrej here and our president, Mr. Rajendra Rajamani. So they will be talking about something about BIEC, this campus and some challenges and some good things which has happened. And also we will be giving some statistical data in terms of uh, MTEX for this particular show. So I would just request Mr. Godrej if you can talk about a little bit about the BIEC and the facilities. So, uh, first of all, uh, welcome and uh, thank you for being here. We appreciate uh, the media uh, covering uh, IMTEX and IMTMA. Uh, you know, this is the uh, first uh, time that an industry association has uh, promoted an industry-sponsored uh, exhibition center, conference center, and we've had uh, great success over the years and other than during the COVID period when we were not in a position to uh, have an exhibition, uh, we're back in a strong way. Uh, the BIEC has uh, had the pleasure and honor of uh, hosting uh, the Prime Minister of India uh, for the G20 summit. Uh, one of the events took place here and uh, the exhibition center has grown out uh, to being the largest uh, in South uh, India. Uh, it's really uh, something that uh, we're quite proud of and uh, I think we are, the good thing is that uh, the city of Bangalore, state of Karnataka is recognizing uh, the importance of uh, this uh, BIEC conference center, exhibition center, and we've had good uh, cooperation in uh, metro connectivity. We have good cooperation on uh, connecting the roads. We are told that very soon we'll have a, a link connecting to the airport. but. You know, all these are very important infrastructure-related uh, issues which allow visitors and exhibitors, etc., to have uh, good and easy access. Uh, Bangalore is not the easiest uh, place to move around in, but uh, I think that uh, if we can improve connectivity, and especially with public transport, I think that would be uh, good for everyone. So. Uh, uh, let me uh, answer any questions you have later on, but at the moment, Mr. Rajamane, President of IMTMA, can talk about uh, uh, the industry and the exhibition. You know that uh, I have been telling the press for many, many years now that no country in the world makes every type of machine possible. The global machine tool industry depends on import and export throughout the world. And as we progress, you will see in the exhibitions here at IMTEX, whether it's forming or cutting, you will always see new developments take place in industry. And that's what this show is for. It's to show new developments. And you will see that at this place. And what the Titan MD said is correct, that they would, of course, like to see more Indian machines being used uh, by their industry for precision. Okay, But this is an area which will evolve it is a matter of time. Already, there are plenty of precision manufacturing companies uh, in India. You will see more of that as the demand grows. 
So I don't think we have to worry about uh, you know where the demand is going to come from in India. The demand is going to be there for a long time because India, as Mr. Rajamane and everyone have said, you know we are growing at seven percent, and the need for industry uh, and machinery is always going to be there as part of our growth. So <clears throat> I think the machine tool industry actually uh, welcomes. Uh, more and more investment by existing players and new players and that's what we hope exhibitions like this achieve. Welcome you all again. Uh, I'll just continue to add a little more points to what Mr. Godrej said specifically on the, the Syntex farming show which is there. Uh, it's about 45,000 square meters is what we have occupied uh, as of so and, and it has grown by about 80% compared to the 2022 show. Uh, we have occupied all the five halls I think uh, which you have been able to see and we have about 625 plus exhibitors uh, coming from 20 countries. The forming 2024 is that uh, we have a concurrent show called the Weld Expo, which has been supported by the Indian Welding, uh, Indian Institute of Welding, uh, and also by we have a con we have an international congress which is being held on the last day, which is uh, it's called as International Congress for IIW India. We also have the concurrent show from uh, Stuttgart, uh, Messe, uh, which is called as uh, Moldex India and Fastnex in Hall Number One. Uh, the speciality of uh, IMTMA at all of these Imtech shows uh, every year has been our academia. We, we lay a lot of stress on academia and then we have a very special stall called Academy Pavilion. I request all of you to please visit and promote the students so that they will be very inquisitive to get it done. And we have this time about 25 institutions which have participated. Uh, we are having a couple of quiz and uh, uh, connect programs and then we will be having an award for some of the participants which is there. Uh, we have a very large trade delegation for this time, one of the largest which we have had so far, close to about 200 odd trade delegations from government, uh, non-government Indian companies. Uh, we are very uh, positive about the type of uh, business that would be generated uh, here in this particular show. As you are all will be seeing, I'm not sure how many of you have gone in there, so, but uh, you will see one of the best technologies which are being displayed here, the first time in the, in the country, not anywhere from the world which has been coming here. <coughs> Uh, that's a little bit on the show and uh, just to give a little uh, numbers on the, the machine tool industry performance uh, for the year 22 23 uh, our production value was in about 12328 crores and uh, we have grown by about 32% over the last year our imports uh, remains at a little higher content at about 13671 crores our exports have not been that encouraging but it's grown by 60% so that's, uh, that's a good result for us. And of course, we remain to be a very large uh, consuming uh, uh, country of uh, uh, machine tools. Uh, so our global ranking is right now, we are ninth in production and uh, the seventh in consumption. Uh, on the market size, just to give a little idea on what metal forming industry is specifically, which is specific to this particular show. Uh, production in metal forming was around two and two and a half thousand crores and uh, consumption is slightly or double of that, maybe close to about five thousand crores. Uh, the domestic market share of the metal forming uh, machine tool industry is about uh, 35 percent, so there's a, there's, a, there's a large potential for growth and uh, some of the sectors which uh, are being supported with this uh, liberalization and uh, opening up of the economy and the way the government of India is trying to push manufacturing are agricultural, medical equipment, uh, defense, electronics, uh, railways, furniture. These are some of the emerging technologies which we are seeing which will help us our country grow in the, in the next uh, five to ten years. Uh, we are right, very, we are, we are very bullish on this whole growth story. Uh, we will definitely see the five trillion number coming in very fast and we as a manufacturing backbone of this country we would all be pitching to make sure that uh, we look at these uh, numbers. So. So that's the numbers I have with me, so maybe if you can put anything else yeah. to add. So, then so I think those are the opening comments that we had in terms of the numbers and in terms of the facility. So if you have any question, a specific question that we can look into or... So, in Bangalore, we have a lot of work in Bangalore. We have a square meter of square meters. We have a lot of work in the 
ಐದು ಹಾಲು ಕಂಪ್ಲೀಟ್ ಯಾವುದಿದೆ ಎಲ್ಲ ಆಕ್ಯುಪೈ ಮಾಡಿದ್ದೀವಿ ಇನ್ನು ಆರುನೂರ ಇಪ್ಪತ್ತೈದು ಎಕ್ಸಿಬಿಟರ್ಸು ಪಾರ್ಟಿಸಿಪೇಟ್ ಮಾಡ್ತಾ ಇದ್ದಾರೆ ಇಪ್ಪತ್ತು ದೇಶದಿಂದ ಬಂದಿದ್ದಾರೆ ಇದ್ರ ಜೊತೆಲೇ ನಾವು ವೆಲ್ಡ್ ಎಕ್ಸ್ಪೋ ಅಂತ ಒಂದು ಶೋ ಇದೆ ಅದನ್ನು ಕಂಬೈಂಡ್ ಆಗಿ ನಾವು ಇಂಡಿಯನ್ ಇನ್ಸ್ಟಿಟ್ಯೂಟ್ ಆಫ್ ವೆಲ್ಡಿಂಗ್ ಜೊತೆಲಿ ಪ್ಲ್ಯಾನ್ ಮಾಡ್ತಾ ಇದ್ದೀವಿ ಅದ್ರ ಜೊತೆಲಿ ಲಾಸ್ಟ್ ಡೇಲಿ ಇಂಟರ್ನ್ಯಾಷನಲ್ ಕಾಂಗ್ರೆಸ್ ಅಂತ ಒಂದು ವೆಲ್ಡಿಂಗ್ ಎಕ್ಸ್ ಎಕ್ಸಿಬಿಷನ್ ಅಲ್ಲ ಅದು ಕಾನ್ಫರೆನ್ಸ್ ಇದೆ ಅದು ಇದು ಬೆಂಗಳೂರಲ್ಲಿ ಬಹಳ ವರ್ಷ ಆದ ಮೇಲೆ ಇಲ್ಲಿ ಬರ್ತಾ ಇರೋದು ಅದೇ ಥರ ನಮ್ಮ ಮೆಸೇಜ್ ಟುಟ್ಕಾಟ್ ಜೊತೆಲಿ ನಾವು ಒಂದು ಟೈಅಪ್ ಮಾಡ್ಕೊಂಡಿದ್ದೀವಿ ಆ ಟೈಅಪ್ ಇಂದ ನಮಗೆ ಮೋಲ್ಡೆಕ್ಸ್ ಇಂಡಿಯಾ ಆಮೇಲೆ ಫಾಸ್ಟ್ನೆಕ್ಸ್ ಅಂದ್ಬಿಟ್ಟು ಹಾಲ್ ನಂಬರ್ ಒನ್ ಅಲ್ಲಿ ಇದು ನಡೀತಾ ಇದೆ ನಾವು ಮಕ್ಕಳಿಗೆ ವಿದ್ಯಾಭ್ಯಾಸದಕ್ಕೆ ಏನು ಮಾಡ್ತಾ ಇದ್ದೀವಿ ಅದನ್ನು ನಾವು ಭಾಳ ಇಂಪಾರ್ಟೆಂಟ್ ತೊಗೊಂಡ್ಬಿಟ್ಟು ಸ್ಟು ಕಾಲೇಜ್ ಸ್ಟೂಡೆಂಟ್ಸಿಗೆ ನಾವು ಭಾಳ ಪ್ರೋತ್ಸಾಹ ಕೊಡ್ತೀವಿ ಪ್ರತಿಯೊಂದು ನಾವು ಇಮ್ಟೆಕ್ಸಲ್ಲಿ ಈ ಥರ ಒಂದು ಇಂಜಿನಿಯರಿಂಗ್ ಕಾಲೇಜ್ ಸ್ಟೂಡೆಂಟ್ಸಿಗೆ ನಾವು ಒಂಥರ ಅವ್ರನ್ನ ಕರೆಸ್ಬಿಟ್ಟು ಇಲ್ಲಿ ಅವ್ರಿಗೆ ಟೆಕ್ನಾಲಜಿ ತೋರಿಸಿ ಅವರು ಬಂದಿರೋ ಒಂದು ಇದನ್ನು ತೋರಿಸ್ಕೊಂಡು ಒಂದು ಸ್ಮಾಲ್ ಕ್ವಿಜ್ ಕಾಂಪಿಟೇಷನ್ ಥರ ಮಾಡಿ ಅವ್ರಿಗೆ ಒಂದು ಪ್ರೋತ್ಸಾಹ ಕೊಡ್ತಾ ಇದ್ದೀವಿ ಸೊ ಈ ಸಲನೂ ಅದೇ ಥರ ಮಾಡ್ತಾ ಇದ್ದೀವಿ ಅದಲ್ಲದೇ ನಮಗೆ ಈ ಥರ ಈ ಈ ಪ್ರೆಸೆಂಟ್ ಶೋಲ್ಲಿ ಸುಮಾರು ಒಂದು ಇನ್ನೂರು ಟ್ರೇಡ್ ಡೆಲಿಗೇಷನ್ಸ್ ಬರ್ತಾ ಇದೆ ಡಿಫೆನ್ಸ್ ಗೌರ್ಮೆಂಟ್ ಸೆಕ್ಟರ್ಸಿಂದ ಏರೋಸ್ಪೇಸು ಡಿಫೆನ್ಸು ಪ್ರೈವೇಟ್ ಕಂಪ್ನೀಸ್ಗಳಿಂದ ಮಷಿನ್ ಟೂಲ್ ಬಗ್ಗೆ ಸ್ವಲ್ಪ ನಿಮಗೆ ವಿವರ ಕೊಡಬೇಕು ಅಂತಂದರೆ ಹೋದ ವರ್ಷ ನಾವು ನಮ್ಮ ಪ್ರೊಡಕ್ಷನಲ್ಲಿ ಹನ್ನೆರಡು ಸಾವಿರದ ಮುನ್ನೂರ ಇಪ್ಪತ್ತೆಂಟು ಕೋಟಿ ವರ್ಷಷ್ಟು ನಮಗೆ ಪ್ರೊಡಕ್ಷನ್ ಆಗಿದೆ ನಾವು ಆಲ್ಮೋಸ್ಟ್ ಮೂವತ್ತೆರಡು ಪರ್ಸೆಂಟ್ ನಮ್ಮದು ಜಾಸ್ತಿ ಏರಿದೀವಿ ಅದ್ರ ಪ್ರೀವಿಯಸ್ ಇಯರ್ಗಿಂತ ಇಂಪೋರ್ಟ್ಸಲ್ಲಿ ಡೆಫಿನೆಟ್ಲಿ ಸ್ವಲ್ಪ ಜಾಸ್ತಿ ಇದ್ದೀವಿ ಅದು ಎಕ್ಸ್ಪೋರ್ಟ್ಸಲ್ಲಿ ನಾವು ಸ್ವಲ್ಪ ಕಮ್ಮಿ ಇದ್ರೂ ಸಾವಿರದ ನಾನ್ನೂರ ಅರವತ್ತ್ಮೂರು ಕೋಟಿ ಮಾತ್ರ ಇದ್ರೂ ಬಟ್ ಅರವತ್ತು ಪರ್ಸೆಂಟ್ ಅದು ಇನ್ಕ್ರೀಸ್ ಆಗಿದೆ ಹೋದ ವರ್ಷ ನಮ್ಮದು ಈ ಪರ್ಟಿಕ್ಯುಲರ್ ಎಕ್ಸ್ಪೋರ್ಟ್ಸಲ್ಲಿ ಕನ್ಸಂಪ್ಷನ್ ನಾವು ನಿಮಗೆ ಹೇಳಿದಾಗೆ ವಿ ಕಂಟಿನ್ಯೂ ಟು ಬಿ ದಿ ಲಾರ್ಜೆಸ್ಟ್ ಕನ್ಸ್ಯೂಮಿಂಗ್ ಸೆವೆಂತ್ ಕನ್ಸ್ಯೂಮಿಂಗ್ ಇನ್ ದಿ ಕಂಟ್ರಿ ಮೆಟಲ್ ಫಾರ್ಮಿಂಗ್ ಬಗ್ಗೆ ಒಂದು ಸ್ವಲ್ಪ ವಿಚಾರ ಹೇಳಬೇಕು ಅಂತಂದರೆ ಸಿನ್ಸ್ ದಿಸ್ ಈ ಪರ್ಟಿಕ್ಯುಲರ್ ಶೋ ಮೆಟಲ್ ಫಾರ್ಮಿಂಗಲ್ಲಿ ಇರೋದರಿಂದ ನಮ್ಮದು ಪ್ರೊಡಕ್ಷನ್ ಅರೌಂಡ್ ಟ್ವೆಲ್ ಟೂ ತೌಸಂಡ್ ಒನ್ ಹಂಡ್ರೆಡ್ ಕ್ರೋರ್ಸ್ ಪ್ರೊಡಕ್ಷನ್ ಆಗ್ತಾ ಇದೆ ಎರಡು ಸಾವಿರದ ಒಂದೂರು ಕೋಟಿ ಐದು ಸಾವಿರದ ಮುನ್ನೂರು ಕೋಟಿ ಅಷ್ಟು ನಾವು ಅದನ್ನು ಕನ್ಸ್ಯೂಮ್ ಮಾಡ್ತೀವಿ ಸೊ ಅದರ ಡಿಫ್ರೆನ್ಸ್ ಏನಿದೆ ಅದು ಹೊರಗಡೆಯಿಂದ ಇಂಪೋರ್ಟ್ ಆಗ್ತಾ ಇದೆ ನಮ್ಮದು ಮಾರ್ಕೆಟ್ ಶೇರ್ ಇಲ್ಲಿ ನಮ್ಮ ದೇಶದಲ್ಲಿ ನಾವು ಪ್ರೊಡ್ಯೂಸ್ ಮಾಡ್ತಾ ಇರೋ ಮೆಷಿನಲ್ಲಿ ಮೂವತ್ತೈದು ಪರ್ಸೆಂಟ್ ಅಷ್ಟು ನಾವು ಮಾರ್ಕೆಟ್ ಶೇರ್ ಇದೆ ಸೊ ನಮಗೆ ಬೆಳೆಯುವಂಥ ನಮಗೆ ಭಾಳ ಅವಕಾಶ ಇದೆ ಇದು ನಮಗೆ ಇಂಡಿಯಾದಲ್ಲಿ ಮ್ಯಾನುಫ್ಯಾಕ್ಚರ್ ಮಾಡ್ತಾ ಇರೋದ್ರಿಂದ ನಾವು ಎಲ್ಲರೂ ಗೊತ್ತಿದ್ದಂಗೆ ಆಟೋಮೋಟಿವ್ ಸೆಕ್ಟ್ರಲ್ಲಿ ಜಾಸ್ತಿ ಕಾನ್ಸಂಟ್ರೇಟೆಡ್ ಇರೋದ್ರಿಂದ ಬಟ್ ಈಗ ಲಾಸ್ಟ್ ಒಂದು ವರ್ಷದಿಂದ ನಮಗೆ ಅಗ್ರಿಕಲ್ಚರಲ್ ಮೆಷಿನರಿ ಮೆಡಿಕಲ್ ಎಕ್ವಿಪ್ಮೆಂಟು ಡಿಫೆನ್ಸ್ ಎಲೆಕ್ಟ್ರಾನಿಕ್ಸು ರೈಲ್ವೇಸು ಫರ್ನಿಚರು ನಮ್ಮ ಇಂಡಿಯನ್ ಗೌರ್ಮೆಂಟಿಂದ ಪ್ರೋತ್ಸಾಹ ಕೊಡ್ತಾ ಇರೋದು ಇದೇನು ನಮಗೆ ಸನ್ರೈಸ್ ಸೆಕ್ಟರ್ಸ್ ಅಂತ ಅವರು ಐಡೆಂಟಿಫೈ ಮಾಡಿದ್ದಾರೆ ಈ ಸೆಕ್ಟರ್ಸನ್ನು ನಾವು ನಮ್ಮ ಮೆಷಿನ್ ಟೂಲ್ ಇಂಡಸ್ಟ್ರಿಗಳನ್ನು ಎಲ್ಲ ಇವಾಗ ಇದರಲ್ಲೂ ಮಾಡಬೇಕು ಅಂದ್ಬ